Welcome back. A couple who lives in Warner Robins is about to accomplish a milestone in their life. And as Suzanne Lawler shows you, they've had to depend on each other more than most other married people. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. Mary Pat and Ernie Hodge are about to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary next month. Well, that by itself is pretty incredible. But this couple has gone through a lot of challenges. Some may even call their story amazing. Uh, he's good looking, always has been good looking. <laughs> well, she's the best thing that ever came along for me. This couple is in love today as much as when they said, I do, back in 1970. Life hasn't been easy because you see, they're both quadriplegics. Uh, I broke my neck in a construction accident. I had polio when I was seven years old. For two partners living in a wheelchair, most days come with obstacles. Terribly, terribly hard. Hard, yet they have had their victories. Amazingly, we've been able to be independent. That's saying something. They were never content just staying independent. They've lived a more adventuresome life than a lot of folks. We've been to Europe, we went to Germany, and we've been to Hawaii. We've lived all different places all over the country. Ernie's job as a mechanical engineer caused the family to have different addresses. Mary Pat worked as a teacher. Both have also competed in the Paralympics. I've set a few records. Everything she did was like really the best in the world. Unabashed loyalty, love, and compassion. That's what's kept this couple going. All the times that we had to help each other out, nobody will ever understand. Maybe not, but if they look close enough, they will see two people completely dedicated to each other. And that's what matters. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. What a great story. Mary Pat and Ernie celebrate their 50th at the end of August. They plan to go to Florida. When they initially got married in Warner Robins, they also went down to Florida for their honeymoon. They were surprised when their story back then hit newspapers all over the country.